Here are the top 25 Microsoft Word 2016 tips and tricks. This is a blazing fast review of the tips and tricks for Word 2016. Let's get started. Number one, text to speech. Did you know Word can read your documents back to you? All you have to do is add speak to your quick access toolbar. Do this by clicking this arrow to the right of your quick access toolbar at the upper left. Go to more commands, choose all commands, and scroll down and find speak in the list. Click on speak, hit add, hit OK, and now the speak button is on your toolbar. Highlight the text you want the computer to read to you. Click play. Video provides a powerful way to help you prove your point. Number two, pin to open file list. When you go to file open, there's a recent document list. And you'll notice at the top, there's a pin group. To add to that list, all you have to do is click the pin button on the right of any document, and that adds it to this pinned list for easy access. Number three, file open and repair. If you have difficulty opening documents because they're corrupt or some other issue, there is a solution for that. Go to Browse, select the document that you know is problematic, and under Open, select Open and Repair. This is your best opportunity to fix a document that might be damaged. Number four, Smart Lookup. Smart lookups allow you to search for information online for keywords. To enable it, highlight a word or phrase, choose Smart Lookup, turn on the intelligence services, and now you can access information online quickly and easily. Number five, filler or random text. You can create random text in a document just by typing RAND with a pair of parentheses. You can also specify the number of paragraphs and sentences per paragraph. If you prefer Latin, type in lorem. And similarly, you can put in paragraphs and sentences per paragraph. Number six, clipboard multi-paste. Under the Home tab, there is a clipboard link right here. Click that, and it brings up the clipboard. That allows you to highlight text and copy it to the clipboard. The good news is you can actually copy multiple items to the clipboard. And then when you want to paste them, you can just click on the one that you want. Number seven, calculate. Want to calculate the results of a math formula? Go up here to your quick access toolbar. Click on More Commands, select All Commands, and scroll down to Calculate. Click on Calculate, add it to your list, and hit OK. Now type in any formula that you want to calculate, highlight it, and click the Calculate button. The results of that calculation will be listed down here. Number eight, Scroll Zoom. We're used to the scroll button on your mouse scrolling up and down. But if you hold the control key button down and then use the scroll, it actually zooms in and out of, on the text. Number nine, insert table. An often overlooked solution is inserting tables. Just click on the insert tab, select table, and then pick the columns and rows that you want to insert in a table. Number 10, formulas in tables. You can insert a formula in a table similar to Excel. Click on the location where you want this formula to be. Go to the Layout tab and choose Formula. You have a variety of options to choose from here for the formula. And as you can see, it defaults to sum everything to the left. You have choices like average, min, max, the product, sum, and you can choose left, right, below, or above. Hit OK, and it inserts the formula results. 
Number 11, shrink one page. Let's say you have a document that's three pages long and a little bit goes over onto page four. There's one tool that allows you to shrink this to three pages without having to edit everything individually. Go to your quick access toolbar, select more commands, choose all commands, and look for shrink one page. Select it, add it, and hit OK. Now you need to highlight all of the text. You can do that by doing Control A, and then click the shrink one page. Now you can see that the text has been shrunk down to be three pages. Number 12, customize status bar. On the bottom of your Word document is the status bar. You can customize it by right clicking and selecting options in the menu. For example, I like to choose the line number so that I can see the line number show up. You can also do things like track changes or turn the caps lock key on so you can see when that's enabled. Number 13, convert text to table. If you've created columns and rows using tab instead of the table function, it's easy to convert them. Just highlight the text, click on the insert tab, choose table, and convert text to table. It should come up with the rows and columns automatically, but you can type those in if needed. Hit OK, and it now creates a column and row table. You can also choose to get rid of the border, and now you have a table with the same data. And this will allow you to easily edit and change things. Number 14, copy paste unformatted. Sometimes when you copy text from a website or other location, it has formatting already in the text. Quick method to clear that text is to highlight it when you're copying and pasting. And when you paste, choose the paste unformatted choice. You can also do the same thing by highlighting the text and clicking this button on the Home tab to clear all formatting. Now you'll notice that did not clear the highlight, but it did get rid of all the other formatting. Choose which method works the best for you. Number 15, Format Painter. You can copy the formatting from one block of text over to another. Just click anywhere inside of the text that you want to copy Click this Format Painter button right here, and then highlight the text that you want to make that format, and there you go. Number 16, Control Key. Don't forget to use the powerful Control Key when you're navigating text. If you hold the Control Key down and hit the right arrow, it actually skips one word at a time. Left arrow goes back one word at a time. You can also backspace Control to delete full words. If you hold the shift control down and right arrow, it will highlight words at a time. Control N takes you to the end of the document. Control Home to the beginning. Control Down arrow and Control Up arrow moves you a paragraph at a time. And of course, Control C and Control V does a copy paste and many other functions that work with the control key. Number 17, insert hyperlinks. You can easily add a hyperlink anywhere in your document. All you have to do is highlight the text that you want to put a hyperlink on and press Control K. This brings up four choices. You can link to an existing file or web page. In this document, you can create a new document or you can put in an email address. Once you've made your selection, hit OK and it turns the text blue and underlined just like a normal hyperlink. Now when a user is viewing this document, they can hover over that and just press Control and click on it to go to that hyperlink. Number 18, save as PDF. You can save a document as a PDF file. Just go to File, Save As, and change the selection to PDF. Number 19, insert file path. Sometimes it's helpful to have the file path of the document listed so that if you're reading a printed copy, you'll be able to find the file location. Go to the quick access toolbar and click on more commands, select all commands, and scroll down the list until you see insert file path. Select it, 
add, hit OK. And now wherever in the document you want the file path located, just click that button. Number 20, insert screenshot. You can capture and insert a screen image of any of the Microsoft applications just by going to the insert under screenshot and select from the list of open images. The windows need to be open and cannot be minimized, otherwise they won't show up in the list. The other option you have is to insert a screenshot screen clipping, which allows you to select an image from anything on your screen and paste it into your document. Number 21, file share email. Rather than saving your file and then attaching it to an email and sending it, you can do it directly. Just go to file, share, choose email, and you have a choice to send it as an attachment, send it as a PDF, and a few other options. We're going to send it as an attachment. That opens up Outlook and allows you to address and send the attached file. Number 22, autocorrect. Autocorrect gives you the ability to save frequently used text as a keystroke combination. To activate it for a certain set of text, highlight it, go to File, Options, Proofing, choose Autocorrect Options. There is the text that you have highlighted. Select a key combination that is unique, like caret L. Hit Add and OK. OK to close out of there. Now whenever you're typing, you can just put the caret L and hit Enter, and it fills in that text for you automatically. Number 23, triple click. Click inside a paragraph and triple click on your mouse button to select an entire paragraph. Number 24, show formatting. If you're having difficulty seeing the formatting on the page, go up to the Home tab and click on the paragraph symbol. This shows all the formatting for the entire document. You can see that paragraph breaks are listed here, tabs are reflected with an arrow key. You can see when page breaks are shown up, and a little dot between each word is an indication of a space. These formatting marks are very useful when you're trying to adjust the formatting on the screen. Number 25, tell me what you want to do. If you want to get help on any particular topic, don't forget this tell me what you want to do search right here at the top. Click on it, type in whatever topic you're looking for, and it gives you a variety of choices to select from. And that concludes our review of the top 25 Word 2016 tips and tricks. Please take a look at the other videos regarding the top Skype for Business and the top Outlook tips and tricks. And thanks for watching. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up and leave a comment. I really do appreciate your support.